I had several requests of continuing um, to crochet the bird nest. Um, I'm going to start with row three. If you look at your pattern, it says that you need to repeat row uh, round two again and again. Um, and for round three, it says that you will have 22 stitches in the end. Um, so I'm going to start. The, uh, I, I make chain of two. One, two. Now I take my stitch marker. Uh, in previous video, I had a bobby pin. Um, it doesn't matter what you use. It, it has to be something that you can open. So, and I'm going to put um, this stitch marker in this last chain before the hook, my second chain. And that's just going to tell me that it's the beginning of this row. Um, so I am going to go in the next stitch. Do you see this braid? V, 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 V. And I have dark brown yarn be simply because nest needs to be made from something earthy, dark. Um, I unfortunately couldn't get something yellow or red and start making with that. So bear with me as this is very dark. Um, so as you see the V, I go under both sides of each V, just under that. That's all you need to go under. Don't go deeper or anything just under the V. Um, and I'm going to do um, two single crochets. So one in this stitch. One in this stitch. That's two single crochets and two separate stitches. And then in the third stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets at the same time. So I'm making one and then I go into the same hole that I've just been into and I'll pull out another yarn and do another single crochet. Um, and I'm going to do the same uh, as many times as I can fit until I get to my stitch marker. So let's see how many times that is. So I do one. One, two, two in this one. Um, then again, we'll do one, one, and two in the third. One. One and two. One, one, two. One more time, one, one, two, one, one, and two. Now, what do we have left here? We have just a little bit left. Um, I would do just one single crochet. And then I would connect it into that chain, which we marked. And I, I could go under the whole chain. Just stay on top of it, uh, on the top side of it. Yep, just like this. And you're done with row three. Okay, now you can take out your stitch marker. Mm. We're going to go to row four.
This is what it looks after row three. Looks like. 